Hi, my name is Ryan Piercy. I'm the MoDOT area engineer for the Southwest St. Louis County. And I'd like to talk to you a little bit today regarding our upcoming uh, Route P resurfacing and sidewalk project that we're going to be performing between Gravoy and Watson Road. So current situation we have to date, the department is working on a couple of its top priorities. One is taking care of the system regarding resurface and the pavement on Route P. The other one is our ADA transition plan, which takes non-compliant sidewalk and other ADA facilities we have along all of our corridors and brings them up to the new federal standards. That is our plan moving forward on Route P. On top of resurfacing and the sidewalk improvements, we'll be replacing the signal at Watson Road, the route 30 and Route P signal is being replaced currently and in a different project. On top of the signal replacements on each location, we'll also be doing pedestrian updates at a number of the crosswalk, pedestrian update, crosswalk updates along a number of the signals. We'll be doing that at Rogers Middle, uh, Heggy, Afton High School, along with Weber. Um, also currently, there is an existing pedestrian signal close to St. Dominic. This always used to be utilized by one of the crossing guards that individually in the morning and afternoon would activate it for the children. This hasn't been the case for some time. Currently that's not active. That will be replaced with what we call a hawk. That's a uh, high intensity activated crosswalk that will be able to be activated by any individual where the lights will be going off as well, make it a much more safer crossing than what's currently existing. Um, also with the updates to the crosswalk at Afton High School, we're proposing to remove the unsignalized pedestrian uh, crossings at Afton High School and Weber Road. Um, along with that, the other signals along Route P um, during the lower traffic volume times, we'll be allowing for permissive left turns. This is the flashing yellow arrow that you'll see along the route. Um, and, and on top of the other improvements as well. Um, what should you expect if you drive and utilize or live on Route P? Drivers will see minimal impacts. Um, we'll have a lane closed in each direction. There is going to be a work zone up. Um, along with the ADA improvements, along with updating the sidewalks, entrances and driveways need to keep a minimum slope as well. So we will be working through reaching out, probably needing to acquire temporary construction easements so we can replace those entrances along the schools and the businesses and the residential areas. Um, if you're a business owner along there, if you have a couple different entrances, we can always do one at a time. Um, if you just have one entrance, we do it half at a time, so there's always access to your business. Residential driveways are too small to do one at a time, so those individual driveways will need to be closed for a couple days while we do that construction. Um, we will be working with our contractor and it'll be part of our job special provisions to reach out not only the business owners but residential as well a week or two ahead of time to inform you of the work that's coming through so you know what's to be expected um, where are we now we've been working through and finalizing our preliminary plans which are available for you right now on the website and we've done this um, kind of early on and made that uh, website active. So you can go on there, take the survey that we have on there. And it's also, we also advertised our virtual public hearing that's going to be held on December 15th. Um, the website is active now. You can do the plan, you can take the survey. I really hope you do. And continue and let us know your thoughts and comments as they're coming through. We'll work through our virtual public hearing and that'll be open a couple weeks prior afterwards as well so we can work with your comments and finalize those preliminary plans. After preliminary plans uh, are taken care of, we will start the right-of-way process around spring of 21 where we will be reaching out to all the individual property owners. The project will be awarded in spring of 22 
and start and hopefully be completed by fall of 22. In the meantime, I really encourage you all to go out, watch the website, go over the survey and send your comments in. And if you're available, please join us on December 15th for that virtual public hearing. So you can come in, see any presentations we've had, talk to us and send any questions on top of that. I thank you for your time today. Thank you for letting me talk to you a little bit about that project. And I look forward to interacting with you, hopefully, at that future public meeting in the future. Thank you very much.